My name is Maria Kennedy. I'm Professor of Water Supply Engineering here at UNESCO IG in Delft in the Netherlands. And on this project we're responsible for Work Package 8, which is the dissemination of the results of the project. Victor Monsalvo from uh, Aqualia. I'm the head of the coefficiency area at the Department of Innovation and Technology. Uh, Aqualia is the coordinator of, of the MIDAS project and uh, we try to keep all the efforts together from the, our uh, excellent partners to reach the goals established in the project. Um, my name is Abd Salam Al Hadidi. Uh, I work for Fujifilm Cooperation. Uh, located in Netherlands and we mainly responsible for the development of the mem ion exchange membranes for me this project. Marta um, Juaniceda, I'm from uh, working for Leitat, it's based in Barcelona in Spain and uh, I'm the technical responsible internally uh, coordinating all the activities in World Package uh, 1 and 2, a little bit on 3 and 4 as well. And we are focused on the uh, material development in the electrode and also in the membranes. My name is Juan Manuel Ortiz. I come from India Water, it's a research institute in Spain and my responsibility in this project is uh, Work Package 3, is the development and the design of microbial desalination cells. My name is Almut Schwenker, I'm working at SGL Carbon, um, a German-based company who is manufacturing everything out of carbon and graphite materials and we are um, part of the Work Package 1. My name is Fatima Dargen. I, I work for Simtek Simulation Technology in Graz, in Austria. In the MIDAS project, our responsibility is to play the role of process simulation and analysis using the simulation software from our company called IPSIPRO. I'm called Pietro Sosa, I'm from Uncontrolled Technologies, and my responsibility is to develop the control infrastructure of the MIDAS project. My name is Sabran Esteve. I'm working at India Water, which is a, a water technology institute fully devoted to, to water technologies in Madrid, in Spain. I mean, in my project, I'm the scientific and technical manager. So I'm trying to, to help uh, an inspiring team of people to put all the pieces together in order to be my a successful project. Well, uh, nowadays, I think that we are uh, having good results. We are producing more desalinated water than established in the literature at the moment. So I think this is uh, very good. Well, we have identified in, uh, in both for work package uh, some lead candidates and uh, we have improved the productivity of the electrodes and also we think we have uh, better memories now for the, for the application. Uh, now we have uh, to work a little bit on the scale up. We screened a lot of different materials and supplied them to the partners who did first tests and we get some good knowledge now about what kind of materials are suitable for the um, desalination cell. The consortium is just great. Well, the MIDAS concept is absolutely revolutionary. Uh, give us the opportunity to uh, optimize and to uh, valorize two different streams, saline streams and wastewater to produce uh, drinking water and treated water to different purposes like environmental uses. The main concept or the original idea is to lower the energy consumption of the RO uh, and, and that's by uh, lowering the salinity in, in the feed by, uh, by using the geobacter uh, actually or, or the bacteria as a uh, source for free electricity in this case to desalinate the uh, water as a pretreatment step for RO. That means uh, the cost in general for, for drinking water will be less. I think the most interesting thing from this project is the, the capacity of using a, um, a very old uh, ability of bacteria to, to generate energy from their own natural resources and combine this with a biotechnological application that's going to make, make thirsty people be able to, to uh, get drinking water almost for free. One of the biggest problems about using seawater to produce fresh water is the energy consumption which is, which is used in the process. So by having a low energy 
method of desalinating seawater, we make it readily available, in fact, which means the costs are lower, the environmental impact is lower. That means it can be used in many, many places where currently we wouldn't be able to use it. So if there's a conflict somewhere where the high cost is currently prohibiting the use of seawater desalination, then Midas has a solution for that, in fact.